let me make up a story to explain my point. Let's take two names, Johnny and Jack. Johnny is 40 years old. When he was under 18, he was raised up by a loving mother and father. His parents are married. When he was under 18, his parents gave him nice clothes, always enough food, and something to drink. Proper discipline, a nice living environment, attention, and so much love. Let's talk about Jack. Jack is 40 years old. When Jack was under 18, he wasn't raised by loving parents. Jack's parents were, and still, are alcoholics and drug abusers. His mother and father never married and didn't show him proper care. In a way, he had to learn how to take care of himself. Sometimes he had to steal to get something to eat and drink. From age 5 to age 15, he got raped by different people, his parents, would bring over to their home. When his father would get drunk, there were times when he would beat Jack and his mother. His father claimed to be Christian. Can you believe that? Okay. Now, Jack is homosexual, liar, cheater, and thief. Jack is anxious, fearful, selfish, hateful, spiteful, disrespectful, and suicidal. He has severe depression, mood swings, and anger issues. Johnny and Jack work at the same company. Johnny is very nice and courteous to Jack. For no good reason, Jack is mean to Johnny. Jack also tells lies about Johnny to their boss, trying to get Johnny fired. Johnny is wondering why Jack treats him rudely and why Jack doesn't act normal. Let me ask you this. 
what if you have gone through what Jack went through when he was under 18. Do you believe you could easily, easily erase the bad memories? Do you believe you would be able to change quickly? Do you think this would not affect you as you grow older. Let's be serious. Let's say Jack is a real person. Let's say some people met Jack and was displeased by his behavior. They may say something like, why can't Jack be normal? Maybe they would speak about Jack very poorly. How many of us can go through what Jack went through and be and be perfectly fine now? I assume not too many. I recommend no one to speak poorly of another. I don't think everyone knows what each person, each person has gone through or may be going through physically mentally and emotionally. If you choose to speak poorly about people, please don't do it. But if you choose to, at least try to figure out why that person is the way they are. If you think about it, can a person speak poorly about you? Do you do everything right? Are you perfect in what you do and say? Do you have personality flaws? If you have dirt and mud on yourself, would it make sense to call some people dirty? Let me stop here. God bless you.